Well, hello, furniture people. I'm Joe, and I like refinishing old furniture. Somehow I decided it would be a good idea to film that and share it, so here we are turning grit into gold. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. You have no idea how much this means. Doing that allows me to continue sharing interesting projects with you. And I'll tell you, this is an interesting project. I was making my way through the ReStore, and Eddie got very excited. He was working on his own woodworking project right here. But we saw this desk, and it looks a little bit like an organ or a piano. It also has a little bit of a coffin vibe to it. Um, there's some beautiful scroll work on the front. Uh, and as we get into it, you'll see some carving too. Uh, but as I worked with it and looked at it, it became evident that it is a desk. It's built to be uh, have a chair in front of it and to sit down and be a workspace. There are no drawers to the right or left. The, the little podiums on the side um, are solid and closed, and it will always been that way. Um, there is the, uh, the uh, cubby, little cubbies that are added there, and you'll see I'm going to pull those out in a moment. Um, those were added after the fact. They're very cheaply made. They're not original to the piece. Um, and I, I'm gonna, I won't be reinstalling those. And then I come a, a couple of random pieces of wood there um, on the top. Uh, but here again is some of that scroll work. Very pretty scroll work. All the hinges, everything was generally in good, good shape. But you can start to see some of the carvings, some of the carving on the sides here. And that's on the front, and it sort of looks like upside down flowers or tulips, and then sort of a pole with a ball on top, uh, two of them rather crossed, uh, is what it looks like. And certainly, if you're interested, find a good spot in the video and pause um, and take a look at them. I have some still pictures coming up later uh, where you'll be able to study them. Here's a good shot right here, too. So, as always, I run a lead-based paint test. Um, this one did come up negative. I do this to protect myself, my family, and my pet. Um, they're not very expensive. Um, the company that manufactures these, these are a good, convenient, easy way to test, but uh, evidently they're not using much glue on the inside of the cardboard tube to the plastic tube, because um, I've had several of them that uh, just slipped out like that. But the testing material, the medium, whatever the chemicals are, and I'm not really sure, um, I tested multiple spots, you know, here on the, the desktop itself and up on the podiums and the, the top pieces, um, and all of it tested negative. Mostly this was dusty and dirty, uh, probably sitting in a basement or an attic um, for a very long time. The structure of this two with the uh, how wide it is, the negative left test, there we go. Uh, with how wide it is, part of the work I'll be doing as I dis disassemble it uh, in my workshop that you normally see, and part of it I'll be doing up in this foyer uh, in our house, because uh, I don't, I can't really get it uh, into my workshop without disassembling parts of it that are held together with pegs and glue, and I don't want to do that. All four corners on the bottom here had these wheels, or not really casters, I guess, because they don't spin. They were all worn flat, just like this one was, and they all, both, uh, all four were held in with uh, some staples, old rusty staples. And I'm not going to be going, I won't be reinstalling these. Uh, haven't quite figured out what I'm going to do with it. Um, but uh, pulled the staples out, pulled the wheels out. And uh, those will be a, a nice little keepsake uh, for myself, depending on what happens with this piece. You can see another one there with the, the flat edge of it. There were two spots on the trifold top that are stamped 149. That's the closest thing to a maker's mark. And here's some more of the, uh, the carving detail the front of it on the two podium sides. 
this is interesting too. It's um, this uh, print on the desktop. I was home alone with Eddie, walked out, came back, and that was there. And normally Eddie sticks pretty close to me, and he he doesn't want anything to do with this. So I'm uh, I don't know what to think about that. Generally, the whole piece was structurally in good condition. Uh, this this part of the trifold top, the the glue is failing and stuff, but that's easy to fix. The hinge hardware here was by and large in very good condition. And I'll take it, and because it's exposed like this, I'll uh, clean it up, polish it up a bit, and I'll reuse the hinges. Um, I'll probably replace the screws with something that's a little brighter and shinier. Um, in addition, several of the screws cracked when I was taking them off. Um, and I eventually, I didn't film it, but I, used a, a pliers uh, to get the remainder of the screws out without damaging any wood. And I don't know if you could hear that on the video, but Eddie just barked while I'm doing my recording. He's very happy to be working with me on the video portion of this too. The top portion here is held down uh, four nails total, two on each side, and uh, came off fairly easily with a little bit of light prying. Uh, and the whole piece, again, structurally, is it's in very solid shape. It's good condition. Um, there was a, a little bit of separation in that one set of boards uh, in the middle piece of the trifold top that I'll have to repair. That's easy. The rest of it, I don't really have to do too much in the way of uh, nailing or screwing or fastening things back together. And the bottom of this piece, and as we go into this clip a little bit more, right in the sort of the center of the screen, see that light colored line? And then maybe 10 inches away from it, where my uh, left hand is right now, there's an identical line. And there were tiny little tacks in there. There was a plate or a name plate or something that was fastened in there. This is the back of the desk after I pulled it off. And you can see where when that cubby was in there where someone had painted both the cubby and the back um, simultaneously all black. And that all came out very easily. Um, the rest of it disassembled. Uh, there wasn't much to show there. So you can see what the rest of the structure looks like here. Um, several shots of it. Um, and again, uh, bits and pieces almost like it was 
parts of it were maybe scrap wood in a shop. I do that myself all the time too, so I understand it. Um, but again, some really interesting lines. And I included this shot again too, because the more I think about it, the more I'm freaked out about it. Um, and then this final shot, once I refinished the desktop, that's what it looks like. Stay safe and be healthy, everyone.